Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Ventures with Kramer. So with all the different updates that have been happening on the app and some of the different improvements that they've been making, and before they start moving too many of the different satellites that are going to be happening over the next few months, I wanted to try and get some good baseline speed tests. And so I'm running three different ones today. I'm going to be running one from Google, one from speedtest.net, and one from fast.com, and try and see how everything goes. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's our first one. Let's go ahead and try and check it out. Okay, so up first we have Google speed tests. Um, the new update, the 1.0.21, so we're at 80. So definitely lower on the download. I'll try running each of these twice though. It's definitely a lot higher on the upload there for a little bit. Looks like it's leveled back down to 18. Wow, 21 millisecond ping. So that's really good. I try and base all the different servers out of Seattle when I can set and pick them. Let's do this one one more time here just to double check. Let's see what we have happening here in 93, 95. Nice, there we go, breaking over 100. So that's really nice to be able to see. So 103.9 on the down that time, so definitely that's really good. 41, I have never seen an upload hit that high. I know it's going to be slowing down some, but that is... Wow, 32.9, the 24 millisecond ping, I, that is the highest upload I have ever seen. Awesome, that is super cool to be able to see. Now it's time to start checking some of the other ones here. Okay, so I had recorded the version on doing for Ookla on the speedtest.net, but there's just some weird stuff that happens. So I want to try and talk about it each step along the way and kind of show them the different ones. So at first had a real nice result, um, a good 92 on the down, 25 on the up, which that upload. And from what I'm seeing so far on some of these updates, the upload has increased even more. Like whenever it first started out, um, all the way back, what, like late October, it was like anywhere from 12 to 15 was right at the average that you'd be getting for an upload. And then after a couple more updates about a month later, it would hit right at 18 megabit is what you'd be getting for the upload. But then now all of a sudden it's hitting this nice higher than in like 20s. Um, and even just like I was on the last one all the way up into like the 30s for an upload. But where it happened is the consistency for the next ones. So still a good ping on the um, for happening on that. But what was weird though, and I didn't see when I checked the app, I didn't see any like disconnects from the satellite or anything like that. But for whatever reason, the upload just tanked and dropped all the way down to a four. The download did okay. I mean, that's still, it's, it's still super high, but something weird. And then I, I was like, okay, I'm going to run it one more time. Just to be able to try and double check. And the ping went higher. The download, I, I've never run a test to see a download hit a 1.55 which was really weird to be able to see that happening. I have nothing else open on the background of my computer or anything doing this. So I don't know what was going on to cause such a dramatic drop. I mean, nothing else is pulling the internet from my home right now. So it's just, that's really weird. And then the upload, same thing, kind of seen that happen. And when I checked the app, the values were that low. Like when I watched on the Starlink app to see the statistics, they were this extremely low that was happening here. I could see the spikes from the previous tests, but not what was happening here. And I just, I thought that was pretty odd. So then the, the final one to be able to try and double check is going to be the fast.com. Again, these are Netflix based servers and some people like them, some people don't, but let's go ahead and try checking this one out. Okay, here we go. Trying to see what we got going on here. I have it set to be able to do the loaded, unloaded, upload latency as well. So we got 99 on the download. So definitely a higher improvement from a previous one. Let's see what we're getting here. Unload latency, 35, loaded, 136, 124. 
uploads about 10 megabits. So it's doing pretty good there. Nice, loaded itself in a drop down 94. So that's pretty good. Let's try that one more time here. Let's see what we get for consistency. So overall, did about a 90 megabyte download and a 30 megabyte upload. These are some of the stats that I'm seeing below. Let's check and see what we get again for a download. It's loaded, that spiked a little over 100. Ooh, 110, nice to be able to see that. Um, unloaded 36 millisecond. Upload, see, there's the 40, 41. Nice, loving being able to see those super high upload speeds. 27, 25, 23, slowing down a little bit there though. Okay, so it leveled back down. 18, anywhere from 15 to 18 is about normal. That load to latency is spiking super high right now. Wow. All right, still some good results. Definitely improved a lot. So I'm not sure exactly what was happening on the second and third tests for the previous one, but nice to see the definitely increase happening here. So thanks everybody for watching. If you got any different tips or advice, definitely let me know. Hit that like button for me. Comment down below. Peace everybody.